All right, what we're going to do is run through a scenario as if you've uh, been done, you've been out hunting for a week, you're getting ready to go home. You have your day pack all loaded up uh, with all your gear. You have your green gate, which has been left in camp for a week. Uh, you have that loaded up with all your camping gear. We're going to uh, combine it all into um, essentially the whole enchilada, it's everything on your way out, okay? Um, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and put our baggage on there as we break the suspension off of it. And then um, we'll go ahead and put the one is all suspension onto our green gate uh, for the full load. Uh, we're gonna start by putting our overloads off of our uh, rogue pack and onto our green gate. Detach them from that. I like to go ahead and put this, the jumper straps back onto the where they came out of. That way you don't lose them. Now that the overflows are off of the rogue pack, we're going to move it out of the way and talk about the overflows for just a minute. When you pull your overflows off of a rogue pack, they will be on the opposite side of the pack that they will go on a green gate. When they attach onto a green gate, we're simply going to clip them in line. With your side straps, and they can clip right into where your side straps clipped into on the front of the bag. With having the adjustments on the overflows, it allows you to adjust these out. If you're wanting to stick a thermo rest or some other sort of uh, padding or tent or something down the side. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take our hydration off of our rogue pack and assemble it onto the green gate. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and move our rogue pack back out of the way. Okay, the two straps that are attached right here in the middle, they simply unclip. And you're going to spin, suspend your hydration system off of your side buckles right here in the middle. So now we have a green gate with overflows and a hydration on them. We're now gonna take the rest of the suspension off of your lumbar and we're gonna go ahead and attach the lumbar to the top. Once again, using the two inch D-rings and pass-throughs on top, just attach those. What we're going to do today is we're going to go ahead and unclip our uh, support straps on the lumbar. And we're gonna bring those down. They do need to come underneath and I like to attach them to the lower buckle on the support strap on the green gate. Okay, so now we have a green gate with hydration, overflows, and a lumbar all on top. We're gonna simply reattach our suspension now.
And if you notice, I didn't have to mess with length adjustment on your shoulder strap length. It is always the same on all the packs, whether you take it off of a lumbar or whether you take it off of a green gate or a bird pack. Whatever the configuration is, you shouldn't have to adjust the length of your shoulder straps once it's set to yourself. Reattach our waist belt, bottom of the shoulder strap, 